Coaching Beauty and today I'm going to show you my everyday uh, makeup look and it's very simple as you can see my eyes are quite simple the only thing that is bold here are my lips and foundation is very very simple um, and my lips usually change sometimes I wear nude sometimes I wear bright or I'm just following the theme which is autumn autumn is here and I just felt like wearing this lip color which I'm loving <laughs> it's really nice so if you like to see how I achieve this look then keep on watching and I'll see you in a bit so for my everyday look I have all of my makeup that I wear every day here it changes from time to time I will probably remove and put some other stuff but at the moment these are the things that I use a lot obviously I don't use everything at once I just pick the ones I want to use on the day-to-day -day basis this sleep makeup setting spray I'll, I use it before applying foundation before applying anything at all so I just spray it on my face especially I concentrate it on my t-zone that's why I get oily easily okay and what I do I let it dry or if I'm in a hurry I'll just pack it down so that it could just set so I use this brow powder or this brow pencil and uh, to do my brows depending on how I want my brows to look like first I'm gonna take a spoolie and just brush my brows keep them in, in place I'm taking this dark powder here because my brows are really sparse and I have nothing at the end I concentrate on putting the powder at the end my concealer and what I will do I'll just take that and just apply here like that So I'm going to clean up my brows as well and highlight my brow bone with this. So now that my brows are done, I'm going to take this by Remo, it's a fix and perfect um, base primer. And this is just going to make the foundation go on smooth and keep it for longer. So I'm just going to apply, concentrate on my teeth on my problem areas and then just blend it everywhere else. The colors that I use uh, on the on daily basis i've got the prolonged wear by mac in nc50 and i've got the mary Kay in bronze 2 concealer i take a synthetic fluffy brush and i just concentrate it on areas that i have problems like my cheeks which where i have my uh, my dark spots my scarring using this can take a long time to blend um when i'm in a hurry i'll just take this brush i love this brush it's a really nice buffing brush um that's what i use to apply my foundation powder i just take the concealer and just concentrate it on those areas with the brush So once that is done, I'll go back onto my Luminaire Sleek um, Concealer and just apply under my eyes. This concealer can be, it's a little bit thick, so a little bit of this goes a long way, so you don't need to use a lot of that. Uh, with the same brush that we used, I'm just going to blend the concealer. I 
I love this because it covers my dark circles especially on days where I have to wake up early in the morning for work this is just a perfect concealer for me and if you don't have a brush you don't need to use a brush you can use your fingers you're the perfect tools especially for concealer because the warmth of your finger is going to melt it especially with this thick concealer it's just going to melt it and blend it properly so once that is done i take the elf powder high definition powder that's what i've been using a lot lately under my eyes just to set the concealer you don't need a lot of this powder so next i take this powder i've talked about it in my favorite video is my favorite foundation It's a powder foundation and i really love it it's by makeup forever it's number 178 and i take this buffing brush this is from coastal sand i believe they still sell it i'll put the link i'll check it out and put the link and i just apply all over my face eyes are looking dark so I just take the powder over my eyes just to brighten that area and it just works really nice okay so now that we finish applying the powder foundation we're gonna move on to our eyes which is a really quick one I don't really spend too much time doing my eyes um, in the morning uh, so I'm gonna start by applying a primer this is groundwork by MAC I've really had this for a long time I don't always use it every day but I've been using it a lot lately so, I'm, just I'm gonna take this brush is by real and Nico I'm taking this color here and I'm going to apply that on my lid it's a bronzy color really nice for dark skin tone And then I'm going to blend the edges with a blending brush. I got this brush from eBay. Absolutely love it. It has no name, but if I'll put the link on the description box on where you can get it from. I then take um I take this dark color with the blending same blending brush. I apply that on my crease. Just to give my eyes definition. I'm going to apply mascara. When it comes to the, the mascara that I use, I use these two mascaras. I've, I've talked about it in my favorite video. I've got the Rocket Mascara by Maybelline, which I actually need to get a new one. And I've got the uh, Lash Accelerator. Uh, endless mascara by Remo. So I start with the endless mascara first. And what this does, it just brings out my lashes, all the small ones just come out. So I'm curling my lashes after applying my first coat. I do that because the mascara helps in curling my stubborn lashes. And then I take the second one, the Racket Mascara, and then I apply it. This gives volume to my lashes. So I like it for that. I 
I'm using the slick for, uh, face foam to contour my cheeks. I'm going to take this dark color. I use the slick, this is the old container, and the slick flushed um, blush. Not too much. And since we're going into the um, autumn or fall, um, I, I'm just going to try a dark lips. A dark lip. <laughs> I'm taking this lipstick, and this is by um, Remo. Yeah, it is Remo, <laughs> uh, and it's called Sloan's Plum. gonna add a little bit of blush because the camera will not pick it up so uh, in real life is actually showing but just for the cameras just gonna add a little bit more and that's it I don't contour my nose every day only contour my cheeks and um, and do my uh, highlight on my brow but I don't do it on my cheeks I only do it when I go out and that's the finished look. <laughs>